you're getting ready to harvest the lavender, um, there's a couple things that you want to look for. Um, if you look over here at this plant, you can sort of see an, an outline of a rounded, more dense shrub underneath. Um, you don't want to cut below that. You want to cut above that. And if you come over here to this plant and look closely, you'll see down here right above where that sort of mounded plant is, there's a couple sets of leaves and you always want to cut above the first set of new leaves and below the second set. So kind of right in there. So it's not an exact science. We, we call it making a ponytail. You grab a handful of the lavender and then you cut kind of right about where those leaf marks are. And we use a sickle, which has angled little teeth on them. Um, so you kind of just grab and pull, and it comes off relatively easily. Um, make a little pile. Make another little ponytail. And go all the way around the plant. It helps if you pull weeds while you're doing it. I use a glove because I've cut myself so many times with this tool that I just don't risk it anymore because it's not fun. And then after I'm done cutting all the lavender off, I just make sure that the lavender plant is cut nice and evenly around in a nice little mound. You can see the old growth, the new growth on top. And then just go to the next one and do it again.